I mean, got a game coming up against Southampton. Now, given yeah. what happened at, at Old Trafford on Wednesday with Neto's goal, we celebrate if you score at Southampton? Let's try to score. Let me see. How frustrating was that, though, for somebody like Neto who had a, a goal disallowed at... It's the second time already. Uh, bad luck for him. But the good point is that he's there. He's there to... He's playing, he's playing well and improving. So hopefully he can have another chance and not be disallowed. Would you like them to look? I mean, certainly this goal was disallowed because of the accidental handball. There's been a lot spoken about that. Is that a rule you'd like them the I think the officials they, they, to look at? For sure, they, it's going to be reviewed. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure about that. So let's, let's wait and see. Do you think that too many goals are, are being disallowed? Do you think that, that, that they need to look in general at, at giving the attackers the advantage? I think uh, by the reaction of everybody involved uh, and also the reaction of the fans, it's mandatory that they have to review and, and take a different approach. So like I said before, let's wait and see. Hoping for third time lucky for Neto then. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's uh, Ryan Giles, you've recalled him. What's the thought process behind that decision? This has to do with, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the injury of, of Vinagre. Uh, massive blow for us, it's so important. Um, Vinagre is very special for us. It gives, gives things that, uh, that we need, um, but it's going to be away from, from, for, uh, for a time now. So that's why the, we recall Giles. Uh, he's been with us before, he did the preseason before. So the process is the same, is the how we operate um, when we need to. We look at our backups, if we have it, we call them because we trust them. And that's the case of, the case of Giles. Yeah, a young player, he's been doing well on loan with Shrewsbury. Have you seen from what you've seen of him, has he, has he shown he's ready for first team action here? Mm, is, is he, first of all, we have to thank him. Uh, because he comes to help, he comes to help. Um, hopefully he'll improve and, and can help um, during the competition. Um, he was with us, he went to, to Shrewsbury, did well. Now he's here, so he still has a lot of things to improve, but like I say, the talent is there. With Vinagra's injury, do, do you have a time frame at all? No, he's going to be. He's going to do MRI today afternoon to re to see the real extension of the injury. But um, for sure, it's going to be some t take some time. And what is the the injury exactly? Do you know? He felt it in the in the game uh, in the last moment. I think oh, he made uh, 70 meters running, high speed running, um, and he felt something in his hamstring. With your squad already stretched, it was the last thing you needed, really, wasn't it? Well, every time, every time we have some player out of the way we we work, it's important because, um, like I say, Vinaga gives, beside what he gives in the pitch, he, he gives a lot of things um, for us to change and, and operate inside the squad. So it's a big blow, big blow. You've been talking throughout the month that you need to add players to your squad is making it even more important now. It doesn't change, it doesn't change. Like I said to you, uh, the model is clear how we do. When we need something, something happens to the squad, we look at our backups. If we have the solution there, we'll take it. If not, we have to, to go, go to, the, to the transfer window and that's what we are working on it. Do you have any updates? Are you any closer to making signings? Uh, I'm confident that uh, soon is going to be it's going to be something. I hopefully see. Leonardo Campano, is that a, a deal you're close? I, I don't. Rumors, I don't mention anything about that. But uh, we need, we need, and we're going to bring players for sure. And in terms of the players you're looking to bring in, will they be players who can immediately be part of the, the first team action? <coughs> yes, yes, that's the idea. That's the idea. That's the idea. Players that can bring um, new solutions. Is it hard not to get frustrated as the clock ticks by? I know you said you wanted to make the signings ASAP. Do you get frustrated at all? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I don't get frustrated. I'm. I'm aware of, of things, and uh, we think, we decide, and things take time. Things take time.
but no frustration at all. In terms of this game coming up, um, what do you make to the way that Southampton have been playing lately? Very good. It's going to be very tough tomorrow. Very good team. Um, and the dynamic they have. So tomorrow is going to be a tough, a tough, tough game for us. I think the last time you, you played them, a one all draw, uh, you were three points ahead of them. That was three months ago. Still the same, three points ahead of them. Do you see this as a very sort of two teams very evenly matched? It's not about the points, not about the table, it's about how they, they are also attempting is playing and they are playing well. They are very well organized. Um, they press very well, they have speed. So it's going to be very tough, but uh, we are ready. We are ready. We go, we go to, to Southampton to compete. They obviously suffered a, a terrible 9-0 defeat against Leicester. They've really turned things around. Do you, does that go to show how quickly things can turn around in football? It shows that uh, in football, in life, it's up and downs, up and downs, and you have to, to be ready for it. Uh, Danny Ings has been doing very well for them. His manager says he deserves a, an England call-up. Do you agree? How well do you think he's been doing? How much of a threat is he? He's a good player, but uh, I'm not, I don't go f much further than that. Um, he's, he's a good player, and tomorrow is our opponent. It's all about focusing on, on of yourselves. Of course, of course, yes. And in terms of your form, the results perhaps show a dip, no win in five, but I know you like to, to focus on performances. So what do you make to your performances? Has there been a dip at all? We had, we had good performance and bad performances. Um, I think um, Watford was not a good performance. Liverpool was a good performance. Um, so, like I say, it's about the pr how we perform, how we want to do things, and we must realize what's happening. Uh, also, um, everybody knows how we play. Everybody knows how we play. The teams are are trying to find new things, and we have to to raise our standards, be able to to sustain and take advantage of the things that we have. And this is what the process that we have. We try new solutions inside the team because the shape is there. And there are two ways to improve our performances. It's changing what we're never going to do because uh, we truly believe that of how we do things and we'll keep on insisting and persisting and improving and growing. It's about a building process that will never end. A lot of people from the... Uh, I know I, I, I asked you earlier this week, you know, are there any signs of fatigue because you have played so many games. Um, you said no. Um, people from the outside are, are saying, "Oh, they must, you know, the players must be getting tired now after all those games that that you've played." But do you still stick by that? That no, then there's no signs of fatigue at all. Of course, because uh, we, uh, we know how we do things, and all the games there are. For sure, there was a lot of games, but no game. Uh, was um, we always compete? We always compete. We'll always be able to, to through the games till the end of the game, being, being um, dynamic and uh, in high performance. So, I'm confident that we'll we'll continue like that. And the credit is for the players because the the way they are they are working and respecting themselves and recovering. And like I said, tomorrow we'll go again. Tomorrow we'll go again. All the best. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, Nino, I just wondered, going back to Neto for a moment, having scored at two of the big stadia in the country at, at Anfield and at Old Trafford, and now they've both been ruled out, how hard that is, particularly for a, a young player to, to deal with psychologically, you know, a young boy who's, who's new to this country. Really. It's hard for him and it's hard for, for all the teams because... Uh, What's happening is with this situation, the momentum really changes, and um, we we see that teams that uh, manage the goal then is disallowed. Uh, the momentum changes, so it's another issue that us as managers have to deal. Particularly for him, uh, was hard, was hard, but uh, you will have another chance. You will have another chance for sure. Is he the sort of character that will bounce back fairly readily from setbacks like that? Do you think? Yes, not only him, but all the teams. All the team, all the team has to to bounce back from from these decisions. He's okay. And Traore was hobbling a little, wasn't he, the, the other night? Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, right. he's okay.